is able to clear it out. So miscommunication, decision into the Allender zone. Shot one just wide of Smith. There's Bacala down the right side, goes rink wide with a pass to Trottier. Trottier waits, center to Bacala. Mason the save, and he stopped the rebound off LaFontaine. And sent to the minor leagues. Didn't even get into a game this season. Oh, here we got a little battle going on. Vakota and Donnelly. Donnelly just off suspension into the lineup for Quebec this week. And Vakota has wrestled him to the ice and is all over top of him. Well, the heavyweights, I guess, don't get into hockey. They get into fights. Oh, referee Andy Van Helleman with some penalties for fighting, no doubt, will step out 13. How hard he shoots the puck. <laughs> Brent Sutter puts it in the Quebec zone. Lauer in after it gets tied up with Yarvey. Alan Kerr back of the net as well. Yarvey holding it on the boards. Now it's stolen by Kerr. Centers it back. Did it with a shot to score! Fine shot by Gerald Diddick. He moved in from the left point position just to the top of the circle. The pass was quick. Ron LaPointe talking it over with his assistant, Guy LaPointe. Outstanding Montreal defenseman, his assistant. But Diddick has given the Islanders a one to nothing lead. Here's the play from behind the net. Alan Kerr to Diddick. And there, a beautiful shot as he one times it. Top right hand corner. Gerald Diddick looking more like a forward. Aims at six aside. The Islanders lead one to nothing here at the Nassau Coliseum. Steinberg with a pass to Gillis. Goes to the left side. Smith comes up to make the save. Good stop off Jeff Jackson. Jackson blowing in off left wing. Pretty play for Quebec. Better play by the Islander goal. Ten up with it for Quebec. And Morrow forces the Nordique to chase it. They give it away to Randy Wood. Wood out of the corner. Centered one that's picked off by Greg Smith. King got a piece of him. There's Diddick over in the far side, centering on the doorstep, banged in by Derek King. Derek King playing left wing with Pat LaFontaine on the right wing is Randy Wood. Gerald Diddick intercepts a puck inside the island, or inside the Quebec blue line, excuse me, and starts things rolling. It was Pat LaFontaine feeding the puck in front. Derek King, there's Diddick as he intercepts the play in front. Stopped by Mason on a play by Pat LaFontaine. Mason went down, made the stop, but the rebound laying there. King jumps on it. Again, Diddick in front of the net. There's the play at the net by LaFontaine. The loose puck, Derek I'm King hammers it up top. To it's a two to nothing right. island. Two to nothing. The Islanders lead. We're in the late stages of the first period. Randy Wood nudging the puck to Norton. Up the middle to LaFontaine. Comes right in on goal. Pulls Mason. Can't put it by him. Now centers one back, and here's Diddick with a blast. Mason to save. LaFontaine's rebound is blocked. The puck loose. The Islanders kick it out. King back to Norton for a drive. Blocked to the defense. Wood shot is blocked. It's to Macula as he goes back to the net. Finn tied him up. Loose puck for LaFontaine to Trache. Trache through a screen. Mason to save. The rebound is blocked as well. Delgarno hammered one right on target. LaFontaine with help of Anton Stasty, and up comes Gilbert across the Quebec line. Shooting, Mason the save, Gilbert after the rebound. Mason has been knocked down, but Quebec able to bring it out. Joe Sakic into center ice, gave it to Peter Stasny. Left side to Latta, gets in deep, turn to move away from Norton, or Morrow rather, and back it comes. Sakic with a backhander, he scores! The rookie, Joe Sakic. That's his sixth goal this season. Brian is second on the power play. Brian Trache, after the play at the end of the ice where the Quebec Nordique are, got up slowly, went back to the Islanders bench. The Islanders were actually two men short at one point as Trache got back to the bench. Player gets on the ice, but some fine passing here by the Quebec Nordique. Back to the point, cross to the right wing side to Sakic in front, went to the backhand, fake to the forehand. Then when he tried to lift it, he actually misfired on it. It went underneath Billy Smith. And it's a two to one hockey game. Joe Sackick scores. Gary King up the middle to LaFontaine across the Quebec line. Shoots off the catching glove of Mason. King puts it out in front, but into the center ice area. Gaetan Duchesne turning at the Quebec line to LeCision. His pass taken by Gillis to Yarvey to LeCision. He shoots Smith, went down, made the stick save. There's Duchesne. Can't get turned around in time to shoot it. Stasny 
he alluded to that. Not, not, he was not saying it in a derogatory manner. He was talking about the fact that they did have liberties. Brent Sutter with a chance, and Mason down. The puck comes loose and banged in. The back will put up the protest here. I guess, and probably rightfully so. It seemed a long time underneath Bob Mason. Everybody waited for the whistle. I think the Quebec Nordiques relaxed. They shouldn't have. Mason is adamant. The puck is in the net. It appears as though it's going to count. The red light went on. It was a long time coming. I mean, not coming. The Quebec Nordiques felt that the whistle should have blown. Mason was laying down on the ice, seemed to have his hand on the puck, but there was no whistle. Brad Lauer was hammering away at it. There's the shot in by Ken Morrill. Looks harmless at himself, but no. Here come the Brent Sutter. Flips it out in front. Lauer bangs it there. Now they've got it covered up. The whistle should blow. Nope, it's loose. That's why the puck was loose. Alan Kerr comes in and slams it into the net. The referee could see that the puck was still loose. Brent Sutter drops it in front. Lauer's shot is stopped. There's Mason. He grabs for it. He reaches for it. There, it's still loose. The referee is on the left side of the net. The left side of your pitcher, Allen. 15 of the second period. Three to one Islanders. Randy Wood has given it to LaFontaine. Moves in on the right side, trying to get around Picard. Comes out in front, shoots and scores! Obviously, Bob Mason still upset about the goal by Alan Kerr. Pat LaFontaine takes a play from Randy Wood, and with fine hustle, he outmuscles Robert Picard. Picard must have underestimated the fact that LaFontaine has here speed. He reaches out with his left hand. He has strength. Look at him as he balances himself, pushes it at the net. Mason opens up a hole big enough. The puck goes in. Where Pat LaFontaine has scored his fourth goal of the season. The Islanders have widened their lead now to three goals. It's four to one. Pat LaFontaine holds his balance well, finally gets both hands on the stick, slams it into the far side under the left pad of Buck, and slaps it out to center ice for Kerr. They rule the play was onside, and Kerr now shoots it in. And we get a whistle. Bassett and Moeller upset with one another. And now Kerr comes in to take a shot at one of the Nordiques. Some pawing and pushing with a minute and 13 seconds left in the second period. Alan Kerr takes a poke. Moved it up the boards. Collision between King and Gillis. And both of them went to the deck. The puck ends up behind the goal. Wood kicking at it. King centers the Fontaine shot. Renetta got the left pad on it. And is able to smother the puck and hold it for a faceoff. First play at the net on Brunetta. He has to the Quebec zone. Dropped it to Brad Lauer. Puts it behind the Quebec goal and Picard, using the boards, moves it around the left wing. On out into the center ice area. Here's Sackick picking up speed. Shoots from the blue line and scores! Sackick with his second of the night. His seventh of the season. Part of joining a National Hockey League team from junior is learning things the hard way. Dean Chenault just learned one. Although it was a rookie, Joe Sackick who played junior hockey last year. Here come the Quebec Nordique. Here's the move. Watch, he goes inside. Chenault went for it. He cuts back outside, crosses the blue line, then blisters a hard shot in front of Steve Conroy, which fooled Billy Smith to the right. Fired on it. Looked like he was trying to make a pass, changed his mind. Islanders on a power play. And LaFontaine shot off Renetta's catching glove. Makala feeds it back to Janssen at the point. To LaFontaine, one time to Brunetta the save, and it was knocked away from him by Del Garno. Jason Gerald Diddick up to Brent Sutter at the Quebec line. Now to Derek King, back to Diddick. Unloads one, he scores! What an awkward attempt to stop a puck by Brunetta. He may have changed his mind, and at the last minute dropped down with his pads. Gerald Diddick shot from the point position. Kind of a snapping shot. There's Diddick starting to play, moving it ahead to Brent Sutter. He sizes things up, drops it to King. King back, and here, just a quick shot. That puck deflected. That's what happened. Brent Sutter. Stastny shooting it well wide of Bill Smith. No one at the left point. It goes all the way around and down the ice. Now Peter Stastny poked it to Sackick. Back it goes to Muller into Sackick. Shot one. He scores! Sackick has his hat trick. Talk Three. about the hot hands, and he has them. He just turned and blasted it at the net. When in doubt, shoot it at the net. The coaches will tell you that. 
You do not have to be a genius, and the Quebec Nordique fans here at the Coliseum are enjoying that particular part of the game. Sackett gets his third goal. There's the play back to the point. He gets it back from the point man, turns in toward the net, gets a better angle, lets it fly, a screenshot over the left. She's with a stick. You've got to get five minutes. You're down two goals, 12 minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the hockey game. You go for broke. Little pain and suffering. <laughs> get back on the power play. Anton Stasty, and now Peter unable to bang it by Bill Smith here on the short side. And Sackick with it again. Back to Bowler. In the Joe Sackick. Turns back from the checking of Diddick. Now starts in. Let's it go. It's deflected, and Smith grabs it right on the goal line. The back players with their sticks up in the air. Stasny claiming to referee Van Helleman that it was over the goal line. And he well positioned and said no. And he no, said it emphatically. Not even close, and he knows it's Stasny. That's the theatrics. We saw him take a dive on. The puck did not, I don't believe, it got to the goal line. Sackett takes a shot, bounces off the right skate. Now it heads for the goal line. Smith sees it. He dives over. Gotcha. I guess it did reach just the mm. goal line, but Van Helleman picks in 87. Now they move in. Here's Peter Stastny with the pass. Yarby coming late. Lada got a whack at it. It goes wide of the net. Bob Bassett moves it up into the center ice zone for Brent Sutter. On to Randy Wood. Coming in on goal. Wood pulls to the left. Shoots off the post. Renata fishes it back into the catching glove and holds on. And Delgarno held it in. It goes right to the goaltender, Brunetta. Cleared it aside for Duchesne. Duchesne played it behind the net. Abilene moves it up to Muller. It's stolen by Gilbert. Coming right in on goal. Gilbert to the backhand. He scores! Three times in a row, Randy Bowler made a mistake, and the Islanders grabbed the puck. Brunetta made two stops, but the third time, Greg Gilbert lays a good move on Mario Brunetta and puts the backhand in. Duchesne with a backhand pass behind the net. Here comes Randy Moeller for the third time, banks the puck off a skate, it's lost, and here comes Greg Gilbert. Committed on the play, bad move by the goaltender, Mario Brunetta. He dove out, tried to poke check the puck away. To Janssen, his shot went wide. There's Chanel's over on the right side, can't get a stick on it. Took the man, Janssen goes after the puck. Chanel and Jackson still battling for it. It's finally shot into the Islander zone, but now in front of the Quebec bench, Gary King has called a meeting of the Nordiques. Chanel comes in, Janssen is there. Andy Wood is stick handling through center ice all by himself. Play is still on. Wood coming right in on goal. He shoots. Bonetta makes the save. Well, the Quebec Nordiques are now really putting up a protest. Meantime, at center ice, Greg Smith and Dean Chanel are all set for a heavyweight battle, but the linesman will not allow it. He'll be joining us on the radio Islander postgame show later on. Gary King playing the puck up the left side. Randy Wood has it at center ice. LaFontaine takes it as they go over the line. Right back to Wood. Cuts it on the backhand. He scores! Twice he's tried to score on the backhand, and twice he was foiled by Mario Brunetta. This time, nice pass from Pat LaFontaine. Derek King, his third assist, because he started the play coming out of the Islanders' end of the ice. Derek King... Fed it to Randy Wood, drops it for Pat LaFontaine. His little pass to Randy Wood. He held it. He held it. Mario. 17 goals against. Fans count down the final six seconds of this encounter. Conroy clearing the puck down into center ice, and that's going to do it. Bill Smith gets his first victory of the season, his eighth career win over the Quebec Nord Eights in regular season play. And the final score is the Islanders, seven, and Quebec. Three. In the third period, the Islanders have another 11 shots on goal for a game total of 43, and Quebec had 10 shots, giving them 12 for the night.